Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gian aka Beauty Outspoken and it's been a very long time since I've seen you guys and I've missed you guys so much. Um, before I go on I just want to wish you guys a very happy 2017. I wish you guys um, love, happiness, um, success and whatever endeavors that you're going into or you're in already. Um, Today for this video I really want to talk about goals and I know a lot of people are wary of New Year's resolutions and any sort of goals that are made in or for the New Year in general because a lot of people just write the goals on a paper and then forget them for the rest of the year but for me goals are really important because what they do is they um, set a standard for me and throughout the year I really like to go back to them and measure my performance and really it kind of gives me and fuels my motivation to keep going even when I think that I haven't done anything seeing that I have accomplished some of my things on my goals to-do list is very rewarding to say the least and being a naturalista for about a year and six months is it a year and six months okay and being a naturalista for about 10 months um, I really decided that besides my life goals for this year 2017 I really want to do some hair goals and you're gonna be seeing me looking at my phone because I have them written down so don't think that I'm being rude or anything but let's begin right <laughs> and if you have hair goals of course I would love for you guys to put them in the comment section let's have a little dialogue going and of course don't forget to like and subscribe so my first goal is less manipulation of my hair what I'd be of course in styling in the wash day etc and you're probably looking at my hair like okay you have an afro which is like a type 4 no-no uh, because you know single strand knots are our um, weakness but I would honestly say that this is one of my things that I'm doing for the new year and it has a lot to do with the fact that I find that when I wear my hair in an afro I wash my hair twice a week to minimize um, the tangling that goes on if I wait like two weeks it's gonna be a hot mess I also um, I just finger the tangle which is another thing that gets into the less manipulation during wash day I make sure and use conditioners that have a lot of slip that will really define my curls and I just shake my hair apply gel and go and I find that I'm doing a lot less manipulation than before when I would do my twist outs and I had to of course part and twist and because my hair is not necessarily the longest right now I have to comb it out and make sure it's smooth and all of that and I found that I was losing a lot of hair and I was doing a lot of manipulation to my hair because at some point I had to wash my hair once a week so doing that whole honestly it would take me like two hours to twist my hair so that whole two hour process was just really frustrating and that leads into my next goal which is I really want to spend less time washing my hair I feel like if from the pre-poo to the shampoo to the deep conditioning to the styling process an average wash day for me is about six or seven hours um, because I try to pre-proof an hour, I try to deep condition 45 minutes, I take two hours to style my hair to do a twist out well previously and I really don't got time for that anymore. I really want to start to work on some business ideas, I want to um, start looking for a job and I really just don't have six hours on any given day really to just sit and do my hair and have to do it again for the next week. So for me again this leads back into my afro. Um, this wash day only takes about one and a half to two hours. Two hours if I'm deep conditioning longer but the styling process is easy peasy. The only thing that takes long is of course the drying process which I really don't have a problem with. Um, the third goal I want to do is to wash my hair more often and that kind of goes into what I'm doing with my afro right now. Um, it's very important for me to keep my scalp clean. I find that I was going a lot of weeks last year without washing my hair because I couldn't take on the seven hour process because it's a lot faster and um, because my wash day is a lot faster now because I'm doing less styling I find that I actually enjoy washing my hair and um, I feel like if my hair is really happy with me washing it twice a week I shampoo once a week and co-wash once a week but I find that my hair is a lot softer it's a lot more um, elastic <laughs> yeah the there's a lot of um, healthy shrinkage going on and my curls are really bouncing and popping all over the place so I really really enjoy what I'm doing now by washing my hair more often the other thing that I want to do is to moisturize my hair a lot more often and that goes with saying that a lot of the times I think as a natural you kind of just do this long process 
on your wash day and then you just kind of forget about your hair in terms of the moisturizing and all and the sealing and all of that because it gets tedious you don't want to ruin your style especially if it's like a twist out or an afro because as soon as you put water to this moisturizer you get frizz right <laughs> it just is what it is you're gonna get some straight pieces boring around all over the place like what I have now because your hair is doing what it naturally does but it still shouldn't deter you from moisturizing your hair because if you don't moisturize your hair especially type 4 hair it is going to get dry it's going to get brittle and of course because you're exposing it to all the elements because your hair is not protected in twists or anything or tucked away and your ends are all out for parading it's definitely important for you to moisturize your hair and make sure that your hair is getting that level of moisture that it needs um, that leads me into the other goal which is to really find products that work for my hair I really want to try to mitigate my product junkies and tendencies I find that and if you watch my whole video from last year it was a bit ridiculous to say the least and I must admit that three quarters of those products that I bought I do not like and I'm just trying to finish them off um, for 2016 and continuing on for this year I really want to try to use out these products and try to then pinpoint some of them that really um, that is really doing something for my hair and my hair is actually enjoying and in doing that I'm just gonna purchase those specific products again and that is what I'm gonna use and develop a really good routine because last year it was really about trying different things seeing what my hair likes trying to see what curls my hair trying to see what makes it soft and I still have not found those products yet because I have so much to try and I probably haven't given each one a fair chance so 2017 is definitely that year to find my staple products and stick to them and save myself some goddamn money because it's really expensive to buy natural hair products especially the ones that are very natural that are ridiculously priced and come in very small ounces and you have a lot of hair like me and they finish in tutus right just doesn't make any sense um, another goal that I want to do is um, to clean my body from the inside out and of course that will benefit not only my hair but my overall um, health I find that for the last year, yes, I have started to eat vegetables. Last year was the time that I learned to eat salads when I was going through a bit of a health crisis. And I still have a lot of work to do. And I feel like if um, doing a little bit of exercise, eating my fruits and veggies, eating less processed foods, drinking more water, is really going to, I think, benefit my hair, especially. Um, the exercise, of course, is going to stimulate um, my entire body and I think just really make me feel um, invigorated and happy and a little bit more positive and give me and give really good energy flowing in my body and that sounds really crazy but um, I heard a youtuber talking recently and they talked about the importance of food as energy and energy not in terms of yes it's gonna give you that energy to do things and whatever which is very important but in terms of um, your overall vibrations in your body and when you put positive and good foods in there like your fruits and your veggies and your less processed foods less um, red meats and stuff your body actually is um, cleaner it's happier and it's able to be a little bit more positive and that's really what I'm trying to aim for in 2017 positive overall health mental health hair health body health everything like everything is about positivity for 2017 the last thing that goes into my little speech about positivity is speaking positively to my hair for the entire of oh my god really stop okay <laughs> sorry guys the vans are really distracting but for the entire of um my hair journey in transitioning i was miserable and when i big chopped for the first three or four months i was also miserable why because i expected my natural hair to just get some conditioner and for me to just slip my hands through like if I was maybe a type 2 or a type 3 and when I realized that no my hair is type 4 it's a lot more difficult than um, the other hair types it gets really prone to tangles it's you can detangle it three minutes from now go outside let some air pass through and it's gonna be like you never even detangle it three minutes ago I realized that my attitude had to change because the first few times that I had a wash day I dreaded it I used any kind of comb big teeth combs fine teeth combs and I would just yank the comb through my hair and I'd be like why can't you just get soft and I realized <laughs> being dramatic but I realized that a lot of it had to do with the fact that I was not treating my hair as 
an entity of myself. I was not loving my hair. I was not understanding that, you know what, my hair can't be the silky wavy hair types that you just flick your hands through and everything is perfect. I realized that I had to take a little bit more time and patience with my hair. And through that, I fell in love with my hair. And one of the things I do is, in doing that, not only taking time, being patient, but also talking positively to my hair. When I am detangling my hair and I am so annoyed and I just wanna just get this over with, I just say, you know what, Gian, calm down. This is nice, life is not bad, your hair is beautiful, girl, you're gonna get through this, your tangles are gonna just get loose, you're gonna be all right, girl, and when you're finished, when I'm finished with you, you're gonna look bomb, we're gonna be moisturized, you're gonna be shiny, and that is how I talk to my hair on wash day. And by doing that, I realized that my whole attitude towards my hair changed, I was getting less breakage, I was searching a lot more for ways to um, mitigate some of the breakage, and that has happened for me, and I realized that I fell more in love with my hair when I change my attitude towards my hair and that is very 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 important for type 4 um, hair types especially because it is very easy to look at a silkier hair type a wavier hair type and get very jealous of them and how easy they're detangling and they're washing and their styling processes compared to ours but you really have to understand that going natural is a lot less about thinking that there's one stereotypical natural but you whatever your hair type is is really um, unique to you and it's really about discovering more of who you are and really appreciating who you are if anybody told me that i would be rocking my afro um shrinkage and oil hair gel a little bit wherever curls curls whatever doesn't curl i would laugh at them i'll be like i could never feel confident doing that but i've never felt more confident with my natural hair than rocking my afro my natural texture and i really encourage you guys to love and be positive with your hair and that is my final tip and i hope that you guys enjoyed the video again i would love for you guys to comment in the comment section and give me some of your hair goals comment in some of mine what do you think about them um i would love to have a little dialogue created with you guys and i hope to see you soon in my next video beauty outspoken out bye <laughs> sorry <laughs> bye guys